Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool checkmate in one position. So it's a lot harder than you think. So take a second and see if you can find the checkmate in one. And like I said, it's a little harder than you think. My hint to you is think outside of the box a little bit. And while you're thinking about this, let me just quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Just remember that half of the income that I earn on this channel goes directly to charity. So every subscription, all that stuff helps me out so much. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. Okay, let's get started here. So I would expect you, the person watching, to begin thinking about rook moves, knight moves, pawn promotions, and start considering those lines. So let's start with the most obvious one, in my opinion, rook c8. This looks like checkmate because you're attacking the king, the pawn is protected by the queen, but, and this is the important piece, they can take the knight. This is not checkmate in one, instead, that's checkmate in two. So that gets ruled out. So you say, okay, can't be that. The queen has no checks, right? I can't go anywhere on this diagonal to give a check because the rook is currently blocking. So that's not a good thing. We can just rule the queen out totally. Any other rook move does not give check other than c8. I do have a knight move. So what about knight c6? And you might think this looks like checkmate because the knight is covering c, uh, a7 and b8. The c6 knight is. And the pawn is covering these two. But the king can take the rook in this position and that is not mate in one. Fun fact for you, if you want a bonus puzzle, there's mate in two from this position, and there's only one way to do it. I'll tell you the answer in just a second if you want, but take a second if you really want to look at this. It's not easy. It's kind of medium to difficult. You promote to a bishop, and the king has to go to c8, and this is checkmate. There's a little bonus puzzle for you if you enjoy it. By the way, you can't promote to a queen here, because if you do, what happens? That is stalemate. Ouch. You don't want to do that. Okay, and of course you can't take that. So not a knight move, not a rook move, not a queen move. And you ask yourself, well, if I take and promote to really anything, is it gonna matter? Promote to a queen, I could take the queen. Promote to a rook, I could take the rook. A knight, a bishop, I can take it. And then you realize, okay, there is no checkmate in one here then. So I started this video by asking you to find the checkmate in one. So am I tricking you? Is this some big trick? No, not really. But the catch is I never told you whose move it was. And you can, by just looking at this position, deduce that it is not white's move, it's black's move. How can you do that? So let's just look at black's pieces. If it were white's move right now, that means that black moved last, right? That's how chess works. So what was black's last move in that case? Did they move the rook? Did they move the king? Well, it seems that those are the only two options, right? Well, if it moved the rook, if black moved the rook, where would they move the rook from? They can't move it on the A file because this knight is kind of plugging up the system here. And they can't really move it on the eighth rank because the king is in the way. So how would they possibly arrive at this position via a rook move. Doesn't seem logical, does it? Apply that same string of reasoning to the king. How would the king arrive on b8? Right? Maybe you'd say they were on c8 and they got checked maybe by a pawn and then they went here. Yeah, but how would they be here because this square is being checked by the rook and the knight? Right? Do you see this string of reasoning? It's, it's fun to think about this. And it's kind of a retrograde puzzle on its own. And if you like retrograde puzzles, I have a, a nice playlist, I think, of retrograde puzzles. It's a really cool intersection between logic and the pure form of logic, like deductive chains of reasoning, and chess, which is already quite logical. So in this position, you have to deduce that black cannot make a move, or sorry, no, that white cannot make a move, and it's black's move. And now the puzzle takes a different form. It's black's move here, and you have to prove, or show rather, that every move that is black's is going to result in a mate in one. 
So I just moved all these pieces for the white pieces. Now I have to flip it around and move with the black pieces. So let's just go through the legal options. If you take the rook on a7, let's do it this way. If you take, ooh, what did I do? Let me go back. Sorry about that. I have to go back to this position and I have to load the new one. Oops. Let me do this really quickly. So, okay. If you take on a7, rook c8 is mate, right? Simple enough. Can't go here, can't go here. What other options are there? If you take with the rook, you lose to rook, a, to rook c7. If you take with the king, what happens? Super nice move. I love this one. Pawn pushes to b8 with the knight, the under promotion to the knight. Killer move, right? That is a bishop or a knight under promotion mate. Incredible. Okay, so we've ruled out if the king takes and the rook takes, all of that is going to result in a loss. What if the king takes on c7? Is there going to be, and that's check by the way, is that going to be a problem? Well, no, this is still mate and one. I can promote to a knight again. Again, look at this. Queen is holding that, knight is holding this, and the knight is giving check. Look at the way these knights and the queen just coordinate everything. And the king, I think, gets the MVP for holding this square down. Super nice. Okay, so what other moves do we have here? We covered uh, rook takes a7, king takes a7, rook takes c7. Do we have any other legal moves, right? Just think about where I can move. I just showed you that one. There are no others, which means the only three legal options for black result in a mate in one. So this is a nice puzzle. If you ever have a friend and play chess with, I don't know, your friend or a buddy, just ask them, find the checkmate in one, and then just walk away. And they might think there's a mistake in the puzzle. They might think there should be a bishop here or something. Or, you know, who knows? But no, this is a retrograde puzzle where they have to deduce the fact that no matter where they go, it's going to be mate in one on all accounts. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a fun puzzle. Let me know what you think. I know it's a little tricky. I'm trying not to trick you. I was hoping you could see the outside the box part, but let me know. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you later. Bye.